Welcome back everyone. So today in this video we will discuss that how you can find out that your PC has been hacked or not and how you can get rid of it, how you can fix it. So computer hacking doesn't only happen in the movies unless you take precaution and make your computer security a priority. It's possible you can get hacked which can result in lost or a stolen data, ID theft and even your banking information can get compromised. So you must take precaution and keep your computer neat and clean. Now if you talk about the indication, there are a few basic indications through which you can find out like receiving some kind of ransomware messages, uh, your computer goes sudden slow, it's performing very slow, lagging, this is another indication. A part of this, if you are getting any kind of uh, pop-up message popping on your screen, blocking your computer, Next, your social account, your email account has been compromised. Uh, your friend or your family member or some random people are receiving some kind of uh, suspicious email or messages from your account. And many advanced hackers, they also install some kind of application and malware on your computer. And even they create a user account, a local user account on your computer so that they can work on your computer without your permission. Alright, so that's what I will be covering in this video so that you can get uh, rid of these hackers and make your computer neat and clean. Now before proceeding, uh, if you like my content, if you like my videos, then please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. And if you need my live support, then you can join my channel membership and then you can live chat with me to get any kind of help related to your computer. So now let's quickly get it started and see that how you can find and how you can fix your problem related to the hacking issues on your Windows 10 11 computer in 2023. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to disable our internet connection. So what you have to do, click on your Windows search, type ncpa.cpl, hit the enter key and this will bring up all kind of your network adapter. So through whichever connection you are connected, you have to make a right click on it and choose disable so that your internet connection can be blocked. All right. After this, we have to run a Microsoft Defender offline scan. So for that, click on your Windows search, type virus. From the suggestion, click on virus and threat protection. And then here, click on the scan options. And below you'll find Microsoft Defender antivirus offline scan. Okay, so you have to select this option, then click on scan now, click on scan, click on yes, and then click on close and the computer will now be restarting and it will be checking for all kind of infection, any kind of malware on your computer. So it may take some time, so you will have to keep some patience here until it's all been done. And once the computer gets restarted, the very first screen, you will see this kind of black screen that will be scanning all kind of your file. So depending how much data you have, uh, it may take some time. So kindly wait until it's all been done. Okay, so the scan has been finally completed and it will be restarting the computer. Once restarted, again, log into your computer. And once you come to the regular desktop, again, you have to re-enable the internet connection. So click on your Windows search, type ncpa.cpl. Hit the enter key. Right click on the internet adapter and enable it. Once enabled, uh, you will have to bring up your browser, any of the browser that you use. And here we will be downloading and installing uh, two different tools that is Anti-Malware Byte and Hitman Pro that is a very powerful tool to remove all kind of malware, trojan, viruses from the computer. So this will be really helpful for you to delete such kind of malware that is uh, compromising your network or your computer. So you will be getting both the link in the description. So first you have to come to this Hitman Pro website, click on free 30 day trial, uh, fill all the information, then click on submit and the downloading will be started. And once it gets downloaded, you need to make a double click on it, then click on yes, click on next, choose the second option that says no, I only want to perform a one time scan to check this computer. Select it, then click on next. The scanning will now be started. Okay, now this is my new machine, so probably it won't detect any kind of infection because I have not done much on this computer. But once you will run on your computer, you will find that lots of Trojan infection will be detected. 
okay so what we can do we can minimize it and then you also need to download the anti-malware by it so come to this website click on free download and the setup will be downloaded once downloaded you have to install it and once installed the malware byte icon will be created on your desktop so bring up malware byte and once it comes up you have to click on scan and the scanning will be started so meanwhile it is scanning next what you will have to do you need to disable the remote desktop assistance so that no one can remotely access your computer from a different location so click on your windows search type allow remote and in the suggestion you will be getting allow remote assistance invitation to be sent from this click on it this kind of box will be up now here at the top you will find remote assistance you need to uncheck this option allow remote assistance connection to this computer uncheck this option below make sure it's been selected to don't allow remote connection to this computer then click on apply and then click on ok and even the scan has been completed on my end as i said my computer is very new and i have not done much so nothing has been detected but probably on your end some kind of threat will be detected so you need to click on done and follow the instructions similarly you can bring the hitman pro and it says no threat detected but i'm very sure on your end some kind of infection will be detected which will be automatically deleted all right so once we are done with this part next what we have to do we need to uninstall all kind of suspicious application malware and any kind of extension on the computer so click on your windows search type appwiz.cpl hit the enter key and this will list you all kind of application installed on your computer now you need to manually look here for any kind of application that you don't identify that looks suspicious even you can type that name in the google to find out that what exactly that application is for so simple whichever you don't identify you feel suspicious uh, just click on it and choose uninstall and you will also get malware by it so if you want to keep it you can keep it or you want to uninstall then you can uninstall it because we have already done the scan and a part of this if you find any kind of toolbar like yahoo toolbar or any kind of toolbar then kindly click on it and uninstall it so just make sure that you have to keep your computer neat and clean or whichever application whichever uh, software you don't identify simply go ahead and uninstall it once you are done from here you need to do the same from your browser so if you use google chrome then bring it up click on the three dot at the right and top then hover up to extension and click manage extensions now this will display all kind of extension installed on your computer so if you find any suspicious or unidentified uh, extension then you have to remove it and even you can remove all the other extension that you don't use or you don't identify and once you are done from this close everything next you need to click on your windows search type net plwiz hit the enter key the user account page will be now up and here it will display all kind of user account created on your computer you have to look here all the user account very carefully and whichever you feel suspicious or you feel that you have not created you will have to remove it okay so like on my end you can see this is my main account by the name office that i'm currently using but i can see another account that is very similar to my user account by the name office one and i have not created this user account so possibilities are that the hackers they have compromised my computer and they have created this user account so if you find any suspicious account like this then you have to select it and then click on remove click on yes and they will be out of your computer now so now after doing all these settings finally you will have to restart your computer and once the computer gets restarted then bring up your google chrome browser then on the right and top click on the three dot and then choose google password manager now this will be listing you all kind of your website where you have uh, saved your password on the left hand side you will find an option of checkup click on it 
Now this is a very powerful tool and it will let you know that what kind of password has been compromised, what kind of a password you have reused and how many weak password you have on your uh, devices. All right, so on my end, you can see it says no compromised password and it says if your passwords are compromised, we will let you know. But probably on your end, it might say that your password has been compromised and once you will click on it, it will list you all kind of website that they feel that the password has been compromised and even it will give you the recommendation to change the password. So kindly go ahead and change the password and it's also recommended kindly create a complicated password that should not be easy to guess and if possible also enable the two-factor authentication and in case still if you feel that there is some suspicious thing going on and you are not able to fix it then you can contact me or what you can do finally you can just take the backup of all the computer data and then go ahead and reset your computer completely I've already created a video that how you can format your computer. You can watch that video, but make sure that you take the data backup first and then you should go and reset your PC. All right, so these are the complete list of uh, possibilities that your computer can get hacked and how you can get rid of it. Hopefully guys, you will find this video helpful. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any kind of question, let me know in the comment section. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.